On the morning of my third day, I met with A1C Sophia Sherman. Sherman was the 19th Air Force's Airman of the Year in 2022 and is now a new member of AFSA. This summit has been honestly the best professional development I have been to. The PES has been very good. It's easy to stay engaged here. Um, I would say they, they have a lot of different leaders. Obviously, there's a lot of chiefs, a lot of senior enlisted here. It's a great place for networking. Sherman wasn't lying about those development opportunities. During my time at the conference, I was able to hear from renowned Air Force leaders, such as General Cotton, the commander of the United States Strategic Command, Chief Bass, the current Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Chief Toberman, the Chief Master Sergeant of the Space Force, and several panels of leadership, both current and past, including one that had five retired Chief Master Sergeants of the Air Force, with Sim Staff Number 5, Chief Gaylor, sitting on it. There was a lot. But that list doesn't even scratch the surface of who all was there. Oh, and I also managed to get a statement from these two. I'm uh, Chief Master of the Air Force Number 13, Jim Finch, here with my my partner in crime, Eric Bacon, the Chief Master of the Air Force Number 12, uh, here at the AFSA convention, and we're just uh, here to support our Air Force Officers Association and to meet airmen and guardians around the world. Like the day before, I learned that there were plenty of people, both on and off the stage, with something to share and it gave the whole event a feeling of wonder. I met MTIs, senior leaders, recruiters for various Air Force organizations, and even members of the Air Force Honor Guard. It was exciting, but I still had one more day ahead of me.